Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get distinct records from a table in SQL Server. You can also query the view and get the distinct records by using the same method. Now, let's open the SSMS and connect to the SQL Server instance. I'm interested to create a table in Tech Brothers IT database. So, here is my query. I'm going to select Tech Brothers IT and then I'm going to create this customer table. Okay, the customer table is created. It has columns ID, name, and address. So ID integer and rest of them watch chart. Let's insert some records. So I'm going to insert DB, uh, these values: ID one, name Amir, and X Y Z address, and then ID two. And here you can see that this is the same uh, record I have already inserted. So I'm kind of inserting duplicate records, and you can see that this is a unique record. And uh, here uh, I'm inserting two more records, but each of uh, the value is uh, null. So let's go ahead and insert the values and come back and take a look on our table. Now select asterisk from uh, DBO customer that's going to return us all the records in this uh, table. Uh, you can see that uh, this is the record and uh, number one here and uh, this uh, sorry number three they are duplicate record so what what if um, we get this requirement where somebody say hey can you get me the distinct records or get me the different records so when they call it distinct or different that means uh, if there are duplicate records uh, we are going to get only one out of them because these both are same so we are going to get the different so we will get this one but uh, we will ignore the second or third occurrence of this uh, record uh, to do that uh, to, uh, to get a unique or distinct or um, different records uh, we will say distinct so only by adding distinct uh, we'll get the different records so, so let's see we should be getting this one we should be getting uh, this one and this one and this one and uh, I'm going to talk about this part like either we should get both of them or we should we will be getting one. So here I'm going to show you what you're going to get. You see that we got only one and where we all have null values. Then we got this record There was duplicate but that's ignored because we get different records or unique records in this case. Uh, if there are multiple copies it is going to give us only one record and then we have other different records. Now that's great but in the previous video i was trying to show you guys null is e not equal to null so if i remove the distinct word from here and run this and you see that we have null values here and we have null values here so how sql server considering uh, when we use the distinct here sql server is considering these one the same uh, values that's why it is given us only one so to, uh, in the last video I was saying uh, null is not equal to null that's true but in case of uh, distinct it consider the nulls equal to null so that's why we get only one row when we use the distinct here now in the last video we proved that one like null is not equal to null I'm going to show you one more time so you let's say you have if condition here say one is equal to one begin print true and end and if this condition is true you are going to get the true output otherwise you will get not true so let's run this one in this case we should get true but now if i'll say null is equal to null sql server when you are making a comparison it does not consider these both uh, equal uh, both uh, to equal to each other so null is not equal to uh, other null so if you print this one you're gonna get not true so we understand when you are making a comparison between uh, the null and null that's not equal but when you are using the distinct uh, and uh, if you have uh, the null CS SQL server is going to consider them the same and give you the only one. So that's why if we run this query again, we are going to get only one row out of these because SQL server consider the nulls equal to the, these nulls and that's why it returns us only one as we are asking for distinct records or the different records. So let's execute and you see that we got only one. So. Uh, different situations, uh, SQL Server handle the situ uh, null values is a different in comparison. Null is not equal to null, that's for sure. And uh, when we use a distinct, uh, it consider them equal. So now, if uh, let's say you see that we got the unique records or different records by using the distinct. 
so you have to just add select distinct then uh, provide the column list i use the asterisk that means select all columns from this table but let's say if i'm interested to get only name and address uh, and i want to get the distinct rec records uh, distinct name comma address that's all i have to say so you use a distinct then provide the list of the columns so if you want to use all of them you can use asterisk but i recommend using the column name itself here now we have amir xyz address and we have amir xyz it is going to get only this one and it is going to get this one and it is going to get this one and it is going to get this one so we'll get uh, the different records or unique records so you can see the output all right so i hope uh, this helps you to understand how to get the distinct uh, uh, or different records uh, from uh, the tables or the view by using the distinct clause or keyword uh, in sql server thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video